Hey guys, um, this is a small intruder alarm um, circuit and um, this, in this video I'm going to talk about how to make the circuit and the components that I've used, the, um, the cost of each component and the approximate total cost of it and the amount of time it takes and few details about the resistors and the transistor that I use. Uh, first of all, um, as the name says, it's it's an intruder alarm. Yes. So what does it mean? Um, so when there's an intruder, the alarm sounds. That's right. But how does it work? Is it does it see the intruder or does it smell him like a dog? How does it work? Let me tell you. It's it's real simple. But uh, before coming to that, let's uh, let's go to the uh, the components and the list of components and how much each component costs so uh, basically um, I, I there's a buzzer in this so which is the main uh, it's, it's a, that component which makes a sound so you could get a buzzer for around uh, uh, for around nine dollars on Amazon or any other website or maybe even uh, for less uh, at a local store so the buzzer that I've used looks like this one, this uh, small round uh, piece that has three wires connected to it, that, that's uh, the buzzer. <clears throat> so it's basically, this one I've taken it from, I removed it from a, from a smoke sensor. So if you have one in your home uh, that you're not using or if it's not working, or uh, probably from an, from an old alarm clock or something, you could remove a buzzer. So you could use that one. Uh, in that case, it it would be free of cost. And uh, <clears throat> and then uh, for the power supply, I used uh, nine volt batteries. You you could use um, either nine volt or de de really depending on the rating of the buzzer. So if you shouldn't give it uh, too much voltage, and too less voltage would uh, just means that it'll be too faint. Yeah, so uh, you could get batteries for uh, for around eight dollars, like around two nine volt batteries for eight dollars. If you if you want to use just one, you could uh, get it for around four dollars. Um, <clears throat> I I use two nine volt batteries to connect them in series, so it it would uh, together make it uh, two nines, which is eighteen volts. I'm giving to the uh, to the circuit. So, uh, and then um, I've used a transistor, which is a bipolar junction transistor. Wow. <laughs> so, it's, uh, I've used an NPN BJT, and there's also a PNP BJT, and that, that costs around 75 cents. And um, you'll need few connecting wires, like this one. Um, you can get them for a couple dollars, maybe or uh, if you have any old wires lying around your house you could use them and um, the, so we just uh, need a box a cardboard box uh, or a plastic box or a wooden box or a metal box just any box to uh, put the circuit in it and the battery in it so so it, it would look uh, compact and uh, neat and be convenient and you don't need a big one like this half the size of this will be fine and uh, yeah that's about it so uh, so um, it took it'll be it'll cost around uh, uh, it should be less than $25 and yeah apart from that you'll also need uh, to solder the wires so you'll need a soldering gun and the soldering wire the solder so if you are a regular user of it you could buy it or or if you if, if you use it just once in a while just for uh, uh, this thing then maybe you could borrow a solder gun from someone so so that's about the solar gun and how much time it took for me uh, well uh, to come up with the idea of um, um, connecting them and how to put this uh, the, the switch in it 
and to pack it uh, well I say it was around 5 hours so this uh, alarm sensor alarm circuit it basically has just two big main components as you see here uh, just one um, small round box like this one it just has a switch in it nothing else and except for that it's it's all empty and this one which has a circuit it need not be this big it's even a box of half the size should be fine so something like the size of the palm maybe should be fine and uh, and then um, where, where can you uh, use a circuit the sensor well almost anywhere you could use it anywhere anywhere um, maybe uh, just outside in front of your door or in your right anyway it depends on uh, where you want to use it if you want to um, sense if there's any uh, change in if there's any weight added then yeah you could use it so you could maybe come up with more creative uh, uses and if you do uh, please post them in the comments so you could share so you can um, share it with everyone and right uh, now how to use it now uh, put this red box it's a red box and I put a uh, I put this uh, tissue paper on it just to you know kind of wrap it so it's basically a red box I'm going to call this one a red box and I'm going to call this one a white circular box or something like that so yes how do you use it put this box inside your door inside your building and there will be wires coming out of it going um, passing under the door and the other side of the door will be this one this box and this will be you could put it under a carpet or you could cover it with something so that's how you put it and what's in this one it's a sensor and it's not a fancy sophisticated costly um, really complex equipment I'll tell you what it's just a bump switch if you don't already know what a bump switch is you can google for detailed uh, information or or I can explain it briefly a bump switch is nothing but it's just a switch when you depress it when there's some force applied on it you um, it act, it, it's a switch and I'll tell you the most common bump switch is um, yeah the one used in the smoke detector see for example these are all smoke detectors oh you must be wondering I have a lot of smoke detectors yeah <laughs> that's true and um, look at this one have you ever noticed in your home there's a small button like this it's a switch it's a small button uh, when when the alarm sounds you press this one and then it, uh, the alarm stops so that's basically uh, what it is used for and I'm using it for the opposite purpose so when there's a when someone presses it it's going to sound so just the opposite use of it I'll show you exactly you it's it's, it's really simple you don't even um, have to buy it from somewhere you can make it make one yourself it's basically uh, it's just a metal piece uh, oh there's a circuit inside uh, inside a smoke detector you don't need that but I didn't want to uh, you know break it to just to show you uh, the switch so I just open it up and this is the metal switch it's a contact basically there's one here there's one metal uh, plate and look here next to the next to the LED there's a small metal piece uh, attached to the to the this thing the board circuit board so what I did is um, I have cut the wire I've, I've built the circuit and then I've cut the wire so uh, such a way that when I join them the circuit completes 
so when I uh, open them the circuit opens so it's just that simple I put a switch in between these two wires now so when someone presses it what happens I've connected one side of the wire one wire to this plate and the other wire to this um, this contact over here it's just a metal piece so what happens is if someone presses this it just touches the small metal piece to which the other wire is connected and just completes the circuit so it's that simple you could you know just take any metal piece and make a switch uh, yourself or maybe if you could uh, buy a switch from outside also even that works so that's about the sensor um, and now uh, what's in the circuit I've used a, a transistor a bipolar junction trans transistor 2N3440 that's the NPN BJT I've used and I've used three resistors um, 620 ohms 3.9 kilo ohms 150 kilo ohms and I, I've um, I've included the um, the schematic of this alarm and also um, the circuit that we need for the for the for the alarm in the, in a PDF file um, along with this video. So you could find uh, more detailed information in that video. Sorry, in that PDF. So. Now, um, la let me show you how it works. There's this, um, there's this uh, alarm sensor. So when you press it, do you hear that? Yes, that's a little small beep. And that's coming from the buzzer. So when you press it, so in the circuit, um, we have uh, three resistors and a BJT. I just soldered them, and these are the buzzers. And uh, you don't worry about the circuit right now. I'm going to uh, attach a PDF for an image of the circuit anyway, along with the video. So just don't worry about it now and this is uh, these are the two batteries 9 volts uh, so yeah 9 to 18 volt battery <laughs> um, it's equivalent to 18 volt source I've connected them in series and taped them up so that would be safe it's safe anyway but um, so it looks good so I'm just going to put this uh, second back in the box this and it goes right there like this and you know just cover it back and it'll be fine it still works fine so yeah so that's basically the intruder alarm circuit if you have any doubts or if you have any comments um, please uh, post a comment please leave a comment or any suggestions are welcome and any improvements that would be great um, thanks for watching have a good one hope you enjoyed this one thank you